Hello everyone, Loco Foss here and welcome to my epic car. I'm in a car park in Rogget. Seven Tunnel Junction is up there and today we're going to start the Loco Force Big Wales Bash, whatever I'm calling it. Uh, today I need to buy the ticket, which means I need to get to a big enough station that sells one. So we're getting a train from Seven Tunnel over to Cardiff Central. Uh, and then we are buying a ticket there before heading off to Carmarthen, Pembroke Dock, back to Carmarthen, over to Milford Haven, back to Carmarthen, back to Cardiff, back, and then back here. Very long day. It is currently uh, 20, no, it's probably about, it's about quarter, quarter to nine, and I'm not going to be back at my car until about 10 past 11. So quite a long day today, a long trip, um, but I'm going a very long distance. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, folks, I'm just walking up to the station now. Um, got to get a ticket. We do have a ticket booth here, so there is a chance that I can buy the Rover here. Uh, but I just don't know how often it's open. I think I'm going to catch whatever the first train is towards Cardiff. Um, it's probably going to be a Taunton Cardiff, maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's bloody cold. I've already got two layers on, so I got on two of these because it is really freezing. Um, which I forgot because yesterday the weather was like summer because uh, the weather in this country is very bipolar oh and the ticket office is open I'll see if I can get it here uh, well I wasn't expecting that but they do do it here so there we go got the uh, 45 quid rover um, and that will cover us from anywhere uh, from Pembroke Docks, Milford Haven, Fishguard Harbour all the way up to Shrewsbury and the heart of Wales Line which we're doing tomorrow um, but yeah, I just need to find out what the next train is and get going. What have we got then? 9.53 at Cardiff down there. Go have a look around this way. There might be a, uh, a transport for Wales or not, get us there quicker. But 9.53 I think is the one that was on my plan. I've got this all written out in my notes. Um, 09.38 to Meisteg. That'll be quicker. Is 172.04, been the victim of graffiti by the looks of things. Uh, you can tell just there the outline of where it used to be and there's still tags down the bottom there. So that's, well that's not good really. Seventy two oh four Gloucester no wait, my state of Gloucester. And here comes our train. One seventy two seventy. And that's taking us to Cardiff.
Okay, so as you can probably see there, we are now at Cardiff Central. That was a wag off to the depot, that's awesome. Loads of trains here. We're here for about 40 minutes before getting a train to Milford Haven. Uh, so yeah, let's do a little bit of train spotting. Six nine double oh And the party now is 170, 270, off to Meisterg. Uh, 150231 on a uh, valley line service uh, from Penarth. On the left, there's 158762 just pulled in. Here's something I thought was interesting class 387 forget they come here now on uh, driver training runs so that is pretty mental i've never seen an electro start no i've seen them at fairham long time ago though i haven't seen any gwr ones so maybe we'll get some of these while i'm here um who knows One fifty two six two. um heading again Penarth uh, or further around that yes another 150 coming in 150 258 not clear where this is going so I'm just going to give up One five eight seven six three and seven six nine off to Cardiff Canton. One fifty two five three to Bargoid. And it is completely empty. Okay, so I think I'm just going to stop filming, uh, unless the freights come through, there's a couple of freights that are supposed to come through. As you just saw, there's a railhead treatment train as well, that's the West Wales one, uh, Margam to Margam. Um, so obviously it's just it's just 150, so I don't really want to film every single one of them. So unless something interesting comes, I won't film it, uh, apart from our train out of it, which is 158, so that's cool. But yeah, let's uh, see what happens.
Okay folks, thought I might do a bit of a trip report since the uh, train is so dead. Um, very much enjoying this line so far. Lots of cool little request stops. So uh, that one we just passed there was um, Manobrio. Uh, very cool looking station building. Uh, I wouldn't mind maybe doing a model of that. Um, potentially, who knows. Um, but yeah, nice little line crossed over with 150.253 I want to say. Uh, back at Tenby, which is doing the Pembroke Doctor Kamaza, and obviously I'm doing the other way back. Um, but yeah, now I'm enjoying it. Quick change over at Kamaza, and I was hoping to be there a little bit longer, but the uh, Cardiff to Kamaza train was slightly delayed, so we had to get on the train rapid. Very cool though, no footbridge, have to go across a uh, crossing. I thought that was quite cool. Um, but yeah, we, we've uh, just been through Manabria, uh, we've got Lamphy. Which is a request stop. I think we're slowing for that now by the look of it. Uh, and then we've got Pembroke and Pembroke Dock. Uh, and then the train sits there for about 50 minutes. I've got a little bit of time to walk around. And uh, yeah, then we'll be heading back to Carmarthen. Okay, so we are now at Pembroke Dock. Uh, I would flip the camera around, apparently that's not a function. Uh, there we go. There is uh, 158, uh, what is it? 825? Yeah, 825. And that's gonna sit there for like 50 odd minutes. Um, for, you know, whatever reason, that's just how the timetabling is. And yeah, I'm just gonna go down to Tesco because I need to go to Blue and get something to eat. And then we'll come back and have a look around the station. So yeah, we've made it to the end of the line here at uh, Pembroke Dock. So over there's, I think, one of the ferries that go over to Ireland. Uh, they go over to, oh, what's it called? Begins with an R. Um, but yeah, just noticed that on my walk, thought I'd go over and have a look. Uh, so yeah, station's back that way, head over there. So yeah, uh, this is Pembroke Dock station. Um, one line. I'm pretty sure the train's just been left here while the uh, conductor and the driver go and get lunch. Because um, again, it's like a 50 minute turn over here. But uh, yeah, uh, there is another platform, which I'll show you now. So here's the other platform. So there was definitely two lines in here at some point, probably a run round as well. Now I'm not sure if the line continued onto the docks. It would make sense if it did, but judging by the age of the houses down that way, uh, I think it's quite unlikely, so maybe the branch went off somewhere else. Uh, I'd have to look at some old pictures, but judging by these houses, they're all quite old, so I don't think there'd be any more track that side. Potentially the other side of this wall, but then it's quite downhill. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this line would have been very interesting to do back in the 50s. Um, I reckon there'd be a lot of action, especially with the docks. I may be wrong, but uh, yeah. So that's the train we'll be taking back up to Carmarthen in about 20 minutes. Uh, Carmarthen, we are then there for about an hour, filming like four trains. Uh, and then we're over to Milford Haven. 
by the time we get there it'll probably be dark so that's kind of mental and then we're getting a train from Milford Haven all the way back to Cardiff and then changing to go to Seven Tunnel. Uh, so yeah, this is Pembroke Dock Station, the end of one of the West of Wales lines branches. After today, I'll only have the Fishguard branch to do, and obviously that only gets like one train a year, so I don't know when we'll be doing that. Well, here we go. Back off now to Carmarthen. Probably won't be filming much of the journey, so it'll just be the same thing I've already shown you, so yeah, I'll see you guys then. A bit of a progress update. Uh, we've just pulled into Narbe. Uh, I don't know if you can see out there. Um, but yeah, so sort of like halfway back up to Gamarden now. Um, so yeah. One seven five one zero two terminating in from Manchester Piccadilly. As you can see, we are now in Carmarthen. So we're here for like an hour-ish and then we're getting a train to Milford Haven and back and the train from Milford Haven we go all the way back to Cardiff so we're here for a little while so I take some pictures make a little video out of it and uh, yeah uh, let's carry on so yeah um, Carmarthen uh, it's sort of like a is it a terminus it's a terminus of the Manchester big deleted Carmarthen service it's a terminus for the Kamars and the Fishguard Harbour service and it is the terminus for the Pembroke Dock to Carmarthen service. Um, so I don't know if there's a triangle down there. Now the class 60s on the oil trains go uh, Milford Haven way and I don't know if they come into this station um, and then run round and go back the other way but the loop doesn't seem long enough to fit the oil trains because they're quite big uh, or do they get a loco put on the back which then drags it the other way so there might be a triangle down there so the 60s avoid this completely um, but I'll look into that but yeah so it's two platforms there used to be a third by the looks of things and judging by all the old track and there's an old motive power depot over there uh, there there used to be a fairly substantial yard here obviously that is now completely gone there's also a loading dock on that building there so yeah um oh and probably a platform here as well um just down there so yeah imagine again back in the day this is probably quite a busy station um but with beaching cuts, rationalisation, all that sort of stuff, it's no surprise it's in the state it is now. Which isn't necessarily bad, it's got a decent amount of services. Obviously it's the busiest station, you know, this far west of Clenelly, maybe. Uh, or no, it is, it must be. So it probably gets, I don't know, four trains an hour maybe, if you're lucky. Um, but yeah, uh, we've got, literally, we've got these two trains to film coming out. And then we got a couple trains coming in to film. Um, so I won't make a train out of this, I don't think. It's not quite enough content, really. But yeah, let's uh, wait for the 1736 to Milford Haven.
Okay, here comes our train out of here. It's 175108. And that's is going to take us to Milford Haven and then all the way to Cardiff. Transport for Wales. Apologise for this late running and the inconvenience this may cause you. Could cause me a lot of convenience if it was any more. There's not many services out here. I could get stranded.
Well, we have arrived at the end of the other West Wales line. Uh, we're now at Milford Haven. It is currently 20 to seven. There's the end of the line up there. And here's uh, 17500, which brought us in from Carmarthen. We'll be getting straight back on this and heading back all the way to Cardiff on this one. Uh, obviously, I think you all, everyone has to get off it uh, until the service gets ready to go in the other direction. So we'll take a quick look around the station once everyone's gone. There is a Tesco over there. Maybe I'll go there. I don't know. I'm very knackered. Um, I don't. I didn't sleep like last night. Five hours sleep. Woke up at half six. Drove seven tunnel. And I've been on train since half nine, so it's coming up to 12 hours of being on the train. Currently it's at 10. By the time I get back, it'll have been about 14, 15 hours on the train because we don't get back seven tunnel until 10 past 11. So, like I was just saying, oh, I don't need, there we go, that's better. Um, so yeah, at the end of the line now. Um, that was about an hour's journey, I think, from Carmarthen. Uh, we were like maybe two minutes late, I think, because it was it arrived in at, it, no, sorry, it departed at uh, 17.42. It was supposed to depart at 17.39, I believe. So it's slightly delayed. Um, but yeah, I mean, this station's slightly different to Pembroke Dock. It seems more modern and there's less evidence that there was ever any other platforms here. Uh, it's by a Tesco like the other one was though. There you go. Awesome Tesco over there. Probably used to be a yard over here, um, but it's definitely not now. So I'm just going to sort of stand around for like 20 minutes till the train, uh, well, starts going in the other direction. There we are now on the train, uh, heading all the way to Cardiff. Uh, I'm not going to get there until about 20 past 10, and it is currently... Let's have a look. Oh, I can't look. It, we just left at about quarter past seven, so it's a, uh, you know, pretty substantial journey. Um, just over three hours, actually. Um, but yeah, so obviously it's dark. I'm not going to film anything apart from maybe when we get to Carmarthen. Um, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed the uh, video so far. Um, probably not too much longer to go, actually. And uh, I appreciate it if you have watched this one. Just arriving into Carmarthen now. There's another 175 over there. Uh, I think that is going towards Milford Haven, I believe. Oh, and there's a 153 apparently. I don't know if they're attached. Oh, there's, there's a load of 153s actually. East Midlands one. Just pulling out of Carmarthen now. Press that this right up against the stack. Don't Central. interrupt me. The next stop is Pembrokeshire Port. But yeah, so there's two 153s now. 175 for now. 175113. So yeah, back to Cardiff now. At Cardiff now, luckily my train got in a bit early, so I was able to get an earlier GWR train, which means I don't have to stay out so late, so this one gets into Seven Tunnel a lot earlier than the other one would. God, I'm out of breath. It's unbelievable how unfit I am.
I literally just ran from platform four to one and I'm basically dying. I ran a mile for to be fair. Anyway, yeah, so a uh, castle set. I don't know what the numbers are, but we'll see them later. That's a wrap. Okay guys, so we're now in the hotel at the end of the day. It's actually the next day now, it's 20 past midnight. Um, so yeah, the train got back to Cardiff early, which then meant I could get an earlier train out, which meant I could go see my girlfriend. So I came back from that, booked into the hotel. Uh, turns out they haven't got my payment, even though I've paid, so I might have been scammed or something. Um, but we'll see. So all in all, good day, really enjoyed myself. So, um, time to film the next part tomorrow. So, thanks very much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you've made it this far, I really do appreciate it. And I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, good night and goodbye.